Good morning. This is your host, Christy Slaughter on Super Talk Saturday Mornings, WFHG. Thank you for joining us. We've been talking a lot the last couple weeks about this discovery that I found in Johnson City, Tennessee, Olive Oil Divine. Yes. Yes. And they were listening last week, and we were talking about sampling, that you can actually go to their store in Johnson City and sample their olive oils and balsamic vinegars, their spice blends. So they're here today, Greg and Shirley Mueller, the owners of Olive Oil Divine, and they brought, they heard the show and brought some samples oh, for did us they? to try this morning. Oh, excellent, excellent. I knew you would be excited. So we're starting things off right. Normally we have this little introduction that you and I do, just mindless chit-chat for, just for 10 or 15 minutes. Banter. That's right. But I wanted them to come on early so that we could kick things off this weekend, get started on the show, and talk about extra virgin olive oils, why there are so many different kinds on the market, what makes them unique, and then talk about some health benefits of Excellent. olive oil. Good morning. Thank you all for being here with us. Good morning, Good morning, Christy. If it's okay with you, can we open up the phone lines in case people have questions? Is sure, that okay? I'm, I'm game. Okay. Rick, do you mind? Can you give us the number if it's listeners want to call? 1-800-469-0098. If you want to give us a call and ask a question, find out a little bit about olive oils. I know I'm going to learn. When I got to see your beautiful store a few weeks ago, one of the questions that I had, because we're seeing olive oils pop up everywhere from the supermarket to specialty stores, and I wanted to know what was unique about your company, your mission, and the olive oils that you all produce. Can you share that with our listeners? Sure, yeah. Well, you know, olive oil isn't just popping up. It's been around for thousands of years. You know, it's been around since... uh, Christ walked the earth, and it's uh, we consider it God's chosen fruit. Did you know the olive was a was a fruit? I did not. It's a fruit, yes. But uh, what makes us unique and what makes our product different is the fact that uh, it's authentic. And you know, ninety percent of what's out there in the store is considered adulterated, adulterated with other oils that are not healthy for you. We go the extra step, and we make sure that we get the right, authenticated, certified, lab tested oils in our store. That's all we serve. That's all we offer. Now, do you do large batch olive oils? Are these craft batches? Do you get the olive oils from different farms? How do you go about deciding what products are actually going to be in your store? Well, actually, Christy, what we do is we have about 12 different vendors that we choose from. And yes, all of our olive oils and balsamic vinegars are small craft batches. We take the time to research And not only do we research, we sample before we bring it in our store. So everything that you sample in our store has been tasted and actually tested by us because we cook with it. Everything in our store we have in our kitchen. I would not give you a product that I don't use myself. We have fun at home when it's time to test and sample product. I bet. Let me tell you. (laughs) Radio is fun, but I can imagine that your world even takes it up to a whole different level. One of the things I was really surprised about, I do enjoy olive oils and balsamic vinegars. I was very surprised. These are the best olive oils and and balsamic vinegars that I've ever tasted in my life. And one of the things I think that sometimes that we don't realize is there's a whole variation in the world of olive oils and even people that maybe have have sampled a lower quality olive oil in the past they'll say oh i don't like the flavor of olive oil but the thing is these they don't taste like a lot of the cheaper olive oils that we can get at the supermarket they're completely different and every one is unique yeah it's fun when we see people come into the store and taste our product for the first time they're used to what they get at the grocery store and then when they taste the real thing and they understand the difference that it's a smooth silky oil it's not a slimy greasy like people think the flavor is full and rich and then when they realize there is a difference it's it's fun to watch the expression on their faces one of the things Shirley, that i was surprised about i've heard about people using coconut oil and things like that on their skin but you use olive oils for all sorts of different stuff talk to us about the different things outside of the culinary world that you use olive oils for I use olive oil for my skin. I come from a family that has a lot of health benefits or or health issues, and one of that is skin. You know, I loved the sun when I was young. The olive oil is an antioxidant, and what it does is it helps the anti-aging. And I put it on my face every night after I clean my face. I put it on my face every morning, and I just put it all over. I have a lemon olive oil, and I love the scent of lemon. So I use it as my moisturizer all over the skin from the neck down. 
And she has beautiful, beautiful, youthful, dewy skin. She really does. And sometimes she walks around smelling like olive oil, I tell you. <laughs> Lisa has a hint of lemon, right? Somebody's like, where's the Greek salad? Let's, let's get going here. Now, did I just imagine this? But did you mention something about shaving that you can shave with olive oil? Or did I just come up with that myself? No, you can't shave with olive oil. I actually have an olive oil soap that has lavender in it, and it's made with the first cold press olive oil. I use it to shave my legs and my underarms because of the moisturizer in the oil. We need to try that. And it's all natural. That's, that's wonderful. I think a lot of us are becoming more health conscious, too, about the things that we're actually putting on our skin topically. We have a caller. She doesn't have a question per se, but she has a comment. Good morning, Marcia. Uh, hello. Hi. Thanks for listening to the show. Do you have a comment? I do have a comment. I want to just say that um, Greg and Shirley came into my store, and I waited on them a couple of times. I found them to be extremely kind, very patient, and knowledgeable. Sorry, that's my dog (laughs) in the background. Um, Very fine people. And um, if their stores run anything the way they treat others, um, then it must be a divine place. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Marsha, she's from Kingsport calling in today. Marsha, you're exactly right. I had not met Greg or Shirley before I went down to their store, but thank you so much for calling and listening to the show. I know. Rick, do you know what store that is? I don't know if she can say or not if she's still on with us. But one of the unique things, let's just talk, that's a wonderful segue into the mission and why you decided to start this olive oil company. There's a whole backstory with that. You've got a unique part of the store called the Divine Room that is nothing like anything else here in the Tri-Cities as well. Well, Christy, our name, Olive Oil Divine, was uh, chosen divinely, really. We, uh, we're obviously Christian-based business. Uh, We're strong believers. And when we started this business, one of the things that we wanted to make sure was done was that we gave back to the community uh, in a spiritual way. And obviously we're providing a good quality product, but we're also providing a safe space, a a divine space, so to call it, in our store. We have what you experienced is our divine room. There's nothing special about it, except it's just got some nice furniture in it. And it's a place for us to go ourselves to go with our customers whoever wants to come in and uh, we have a prayer journal in there we'll pray in there we'll meditate in there we use it as a multi-purpose room but it is called the divine room and that's our subtle way of of giving back now we don't force it on people we don't uh, shove it down people's uh, throat when they come in if if there's an opportunity we'll share it if not then uh, we might just silently pray for them and go on you say that it's just a room with some really nice furniture, but the feeling that you get in there is this overwhelming sense of peace and ease. It's just easy to breathe in there and uh, really beautiful. And everything in there has a story behind it, too. So if people are interested about the progression and how you started, I'm sure that you would be willing to talk. Yeah, about it's that turned too. into a museum for us, pretty much, of, of all the, the mementos, so to speak, that we've gathered along the way. And there's some interesting stuff in there. We have a Bible in there that was given to us from um, a lady who came in the first week that we opened up, and it was clad in olive wood. And we we had never met this lady, and she came in and presented it to us as a gift. And it was very special to us, and it's on display, as well as uh, numerous other artifacts that we've collected over the years. You are not a franchise. You are locally owned and operated. You have this one store, so all of your heart and soul and time and energy is put into that one beautiful place. One of the things that I love is that the way that you all have set it up, it's very easy to walk through the store. Everything's labeled. Talk to me about the actual casts or whatever holds. I know there's a particular name, holds the olive oils and the balsamic Mm -hmm. vinegars because those were specifically chosen for a reason, too. Those are called fusis, and they actually are from Italy. And, yes, we all do sampling out of those fusis. They're not from a bottle. The only time you taste out of a bottle is if a fusti is empty and we're waiting on product. But those actually allow you to do your self-testing. You can come in. We'll show you how to taste out of them. And not only that. You're free to taste anything in that store that you want out of, out of the Fusties. We have about 71 Fusties in our store. 
That's a lot of tasting. It's a lot of stainless steel. Let me tell you, when it's time to clean them, it's not fun. <laughs> I bet. If anybody has a stainless steel sink at home, you know just a sink is, is a challenge it, itself. It does keep the product clean. It keeps it healthy. Uh, it keeps it safe from uh, oxida- oxidation. It keeps it from uh, getting sunlight. And, and it just allows us to provide a fresher product. And that's actually how you bottle the products. You bottle most of the things that you sell there, a we lot do. of those. We bottle in store. Uh, a lot of places will have it pre-bottled and shipped to them, but uh, we don't. We actually get it in small craft batch product. We then transfer it into the uh, Fusti, and we also cap each Fusti with a, uh, an inert gas that is uh, harmless, that keeps it fresh. And then so when you come in and taste from the Fusti, you also know that the bottle you're buying that was previously bottled maybe the day before from that same Fusti is going to be the exact same flavor. That's really important. When you're getting a high quality product like that, you want to know that it's authentic and that's fresh. Yes. That's key with us. Fresh. We're going to take a quick commercial break here in just a couple of minutes. If that's okay with you all, can you stay with us? Sure. And maybe we'll get some sampling ready. I'm interested to see what Rick's going to think. I know he's going to love it. And we'll be back here in just a few minutes. This is your host, Christy Slaughter on Super Talk Saturday mornings, WFHG 92.9. Welcome back. This is your host, Christy Slaughter, on Super Talk Saturday mornings, WFHG 92.9. We're talking this morning with the owners, Greg and Shirley Mueller, of Olive Oil Divine, located at 2517 North Rain Street in Johnson City, Tennessee. They are here in the station with us today. We are sampling a few products. Rick's been smelling them a little bit. They smell great. I accidentally had a little accident. If anybody knows me, I'm pretty clumsy, and I did spill just a tiny bit. I Um, wouldn't have expected it any other way. (laughs) So we're going to do a little bit of a tasting on the air, which I thought would be a lot of fun. Well, they thought of it and then brought them because they're so nice and generous. So the first oil that we're going to taste is what, Greg? This is our butter-infused olive oil, but there's really no butter in it. It's made with an enzyme out of a sweet potato that tastes like popcorn butter, and it's heavenly. And it looks like popcorn butter, doesn't it? It does. This, this is one of our best sellers. People, when they, when they, surely, surely, surely. just smelled her <laughs> I, I, I told them that I just got my nails done yesterday and they're a little extra long. So that's why I, but surely, surely spilling him too. That's okay. That's it how, happens that's, at the that's how too. thick the balsamic vinegar is. It actually just pulled up in a tiny little pool. It stays it's right like there. molasses. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and try the butter oil. Rick. Okay. You can put that butter over popcorn, baked potatoes, pasta, rice. Isn't that good? It's so good. Are you sure that's not popcorn butter? (laughs) (laughs) This morning I made an omelet, and I did little scallions and some tomatoes, a little broccoli, a little cheddar cheese, and I used the Italian herbs olive oil to do that in. I didn't use any butter at all, and as I was making it and eating it, I thought, this is so delicious, and then my mind went to the butter. Immediately, I'm like, what am I going to do next, and the butter's the next one I'm going to That get. is delicious. Isn't well, that we good? figured being a breakfast show, you know, we wouldn't want to start off with Italian herb. Let's go straight for the, that's, for that's the breakfast say, You flavor. can never go wrong with butter. And you mentioned that people can use this in baking, like bakery products, too. You can actually substitute any shortening with the butter olive oil. Yesterday, we had an event at the store, and I actually made bruschetta, so I took the butter and brushed it on the bread, baked it just like toast, pulled it out, and put the bruschetta on it, and it was delicious. Oh, that sounds weird. Yeah, you can bake with it. You can fry with it. There's a misconception about olive oil and, and baking and using it, but it can be used. It's actually one of the healthier olive oils, that or oils, period, out there, really, for cooking and baking. Uh, we posted on our Facebook page this past week a, a a study that said that olive oil is actually the healthiest oil to cook with, period. When it heats up, even though it does have a flash point of a little over 400 degrees, it doesn't release all the harmful chemical byproducts that heating does to oil, like it does if you use a canola oil or a vegetable oil or any other oil. Do you have a uh, a source of recipes that you could use some of these olive oils in? Uh we do. We're, we're on our website. We have several uh, recipes. We're actually working on, on expanding that now. We're, we've been a little lax on getting our recipes out there because it's just been trying to, to get the business going. For it three takes years, a long time. Believe me, it takes a long, a long time. time to oh, I'm sure it. it's but, but a lot of work. Uh, we have a lot of recipes uh, in the queue that we're we're starting to release. 
one of the things that I love under each section that you have with your olive oils or balsamic vi- vinegars, it will give suggestions of different ways that you can use them too. So okay. it kind of gets your creative juices flowing. And you all are a wealth of information. I know when I was asking about different products, you said, oh, well, we use this on salmon or we use this on steak. Or, And if people come in and have questions about, let's say they're doing some ribs, smoking some ribs, you all can lead them in the right direction of different combinations and things as well. Yes, we can. And we also have come up with, it's called a user and pairing guide for any customer that's new in our store and not really sure of how to use the product. We have given suggestions of what to use it on. And then in that guide, there's some tips about how to properly store your olive oil and the difference in the balsamic vinegars like our cast 25, our 18 and 8. What makes them so different in between each one of those years? We have the cast 25 here with us this morning. That's yep. the one I spilled. Is that the one you spilled? That's taste number two. But this is our 25-year age balsamic. It's been aged in oak barrels for a succession of 25 years, and it is uh, authentic from Modena, Italy. Oh, that's delicious. Isn't that delicious? I know it's, uh, it's a morning show, but imagine that on your steak tonight when you go home. Oh, yes. I try to describe this each week on the air, but you really have to sample. You have to go in and sample because words cannot describe how incredible. No, this, this is. is definitely something you want to do in person firsthand. This is the one product that you can start off your meal on your salad, then you can put it on your main entree, and then when it comes time for dessert, pull out some ice cream and drizzle it over it. You'd be amazed. And it doesn't have that oily. I mean, just like you were talking about, it's not. It's not like an oil. Right. It's almost... Uh, well, being a, a balsamic, uh, it is going to be obviously a, a water base from the grape must. The uh, butter that you tasted earlier, nice and smooth, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. With uh, Cast 25, they do some different things with barrels, right, to mm-hmm. get it mm-hmm. through that aging process and to add the depth of flavor. How does that work? Well, it starts off in, in a large barrel. Uh, it's just boiled grapes, and it's called grape must. And then those uh, boiled grapes are are transferred into a uh, large oak barrel, perhaps. It could be a, an ash or a cherry or a juniper barrel. And then each year, successive years for 25, they, they rack it, which means transfer it over into another smaller barrel because it naturally reduces over time. That time allows it to age nicely by becoming thicker, sweeter, more mellow. But none of our products have any added sugar or any additives in them. They're all natural, even, including the flavoring. Uh, but... But yeah, that, that oak barrel, the cherry barrel, the ash barrel. And now there's white vinegars and there's dark vinegars, and uh, you'll see both of those in our store. The uh, the white ones are just not aged as long. The minimum amount of time that the balsamic vinegars are aged? About seven years, typically. <clears throat> they can be anywhere from seven to 25 years. And we do have a, a an 18, and we have a 25. I don't think the 25 is, is pretty hard to come by, but... Uh, People usually taste that and they say, wow, they were going back to the 18. <laughs> and and there's an anticipation because it's so deliciously thick. When you pour it into your <laughs> cup, it's almost like dripping molasses or sorghum or really high quality maple syrup. You're just waiting for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the maple. We have a maple and a honey. We brought the honey. But oh, you did? I but, have not tasted the honey. But Didn't number three... You've got in front of you is a chocolate, and this is quickly becoming one of our better sellers. Chocolate. I, now I smelled that, and I thought vanilla. Chocolate. <laughs> Did you spill it We're again? Spilling again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that this chair is black. Don't tell Scotty. <laughs> I usually see Scotty's tuna fish and crackers over here. I won't I, tell I, Scotty. I know the a good. Thing. I know the good people here. Now let me have Isn't your that cup, and, delicious? And, and we can pair. Let me have your cup of chocolate in it. Oh, with we'll chocolate. Put some, we'll put some butter in with it, just to give you an idea of how an oil and a balsamic can pair together. Now this is one of about uh, unlimited number of pairings that we can do. That is so good. Chocolate and butter. Chocolate and oh butter. My gosh. <laughs> I, I came to their store hungry, and then I sampled, and I wasn't hungry, and I was surprised that it really is a appetite suppressant too. A lot of times, Christy, I will get, I'll have a chocolate craving. All women have chocolate cravings. No matter what we do, we cannot get rid of those chocolate cravings. I either go to the Cash 25 or the Chocolate Balsamic and just take a shot of that, and you'll be surprised how that satisfies your craving for that sweet tooth. 
a lot of times I'll, that I do is any white fruity balsamics, I take a teaspoon of that and put it in my water because there's no added sugar. The only sugar you're getting is natural sugar from the grapes and the fruit. So that right there will also help curve those sugar cravings. What are some of the fruity balsamic vinegars that you have? I have a raspberry. That's my favorite. And I also put that in my hot chocolate. I have a strawberry. I have a tropical passion. I have a apricot, pineapple, and coconut. I have over 70 oils and vinegars. Mm -hmm. One of the things we mentioned that you all do packaging, do your bottles and things there. You can also do things for events. If someone has a corporate event, I was thinking it would be great for a wedding maybe, and you could put the little label for... You know, mm-hmm. to commemorate the event. How does that work if people want to actually put a, a, their own brand on there? Well, like, because we're not a franchise, we're allowed to label our bottles as we please as long as we follow the uh, the FDA guidelines. <clears throat> but that allows us to create a custom label on the front of any bottle that we have. We, there's a, obviously a small fee involved, but it's minimal. And it turns out to be a great gift because you're presenting a bottle of healthy flavorful product with your name your logo on it of course our name is on there as well but it's just it's subdued and it's smaller but it's turned out to be really popular we're, we're printers by trade over in our past life and so we understand graphics and printing and we have our own printing and labeling in-house that is such a unique thing to be able to offer and to be able to offer a gift to someone that's such high quality it's not you know, not that a hat's not great, but that's been done a little bit. So this is really unique. It's been a little slow getting the word out, but people are starting to realize it and understand it, and uh, we're seeing a lot more requests for it. And, you know, Christy, it feels good to take a logo from for someone else and add that special touch to their customer. We do a lot of corporate logo labeling for customers, and they love it. We need to take a quick commercial break. Maybe we can come back. We'll wrap up things. I know you have several events that are coming up. You open your store to the community. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about that, if that's okay. We'll be back here in just a few minutes. This is your host, Christy Slaughter, on Super Talk Saturday mornings. Welcome back. This is your host, Christy Slaughter, on Super Talk Saturday mornings, WFHG 92.9. We are having such a fun morning this morning here with Olive Oil Divine and the owners, Greg and Shirley Mueller. We've been sampling some of their oils and balsamics. They're absolutely fabulous. We've got two more, a honey one that we're going to sample and a blackberry. You said the honey one is new to the store. The honey dark is new. We've always carried a honey white. We decided to bring in a honey reserved age. Oh, wow. That is something else. Can you imagine that over chicken? Mm, Over anything. Just plain in this cup is delicious. What do you think about the honey reserved? Rick, the dark. It tastes just like honey, and it is fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I like it over pancakes. Well, you all are welcome back anytime. I don't know what you're doing next Saturday. I know that you're extremely busy. You have lots of different events. I'd love to have you back on the show to talk about some of the other things that you have. You have spice blends. I had the Jamaican jerk blend when mm-hmm. I was there, which is the closest to being in Jamaica and having jerk chicken that I've ever tasted. You also have barbecue sauces. You've got a new line of pastas. Everything, of course, is preservative free right a lot of things are organic or non-gmo everything is non-gmo for sure Uh, we have some organic of course most of it is grown organically but we just don't go to the expense of certifying it organically some is but but not everything Uh, and you're right everything is preservative free that's one thing we wanted to make sure to offer is is a good healthy alternative with flavor and and the tri-cities is learning that you can put wonderful flavors without processed food without preservatives and really enjoy it and people's eyes are opening their taste buds are exploding and it's incredible because the ingredients are so simple for example now i'm tasting this blackberry one you smell it you taste it and it is just like you're eating crushed blackberries and the thing that i love is it's allowing a lot of us who don't have a background in cooking to be able to produce very very delicious healthy meals for our family and our friends we really all can become a chef i think that's really incredible that you're all offering this yeah, well people shouldn't be afraid to come into the store because uh, we'll teach them how to use this product we'll teach them what foods that uh, it works on and and what we'll learn a little bit about them about what they eat and uh, maybe offer some suggestions of try this or try that and then we also offer cooking classes too Shirley, you want to talk about the classes we have actually uh, teamed up with our local chefs and then we actually have a new chef coming on. He will be there on June the 8th. He's a vegan chef. He 
is a uh, chef at the Planet in Asheville. The Plant, yes, the plant. in Asheville, a highly uh, vegan restaurant. Yes, you should check out the Plant website. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. Works of art, really, with food. And we're actually excited about this, and we're trying. We also want to find new chefs that are willing to come out and do cooking classes for us. If there's any chefs out there looking for something fun to do, give us a call at Olive Oil Divine, 423-707-7087. Well, thank you all again for being on this show today. If people go in, all they have to do is say, we heard you on the show with Christy, and they don't have to worry about spilling stuff. We've already <laughs> done it. Make a mess, go in and play. I said last week I was there for probably two, two and a half hours. You don't have to be there that long if you don't want to. I think you're you close could. to the record. Am I close? You're close. <laughs> of course. Well, that's okay. That's, that's a record I'll take. We always have fun. <laughs> and, you know, Christy, one thing, people are afraid to use olive oils. When they come into the store, they think they're just for salad dressings, for dipping. They're not. Don't be afraid. That's what we're there for is to help teach you. We didn't open a store just to sell product. We opened a store, one, to meet new people, meet new friends, but also to learn together how to use the product. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have a wonderful Facebook page. You're posting specials and things. I think you've got one for Memorial Day that's Mm -hmm. coming up. We talked about the one for Mother's Day. You've also got pictures of some of the recipes and things that you do. Give us your contact information, your website, and how people can find you. Our website is www.oliveoildivine.com, and that's D-I-V-I-N-E.com, as in divinity. Or you can go to our Facebook page. It's Olive Oil Divine on our Facebook. We have a Twitter and a Instagram and all that good stuff. We're a little lax. We sometimes we don't have time to get all the posts out there, but we well, try. I think to, you do uh, great. I'm seeing new stuff all the time. Well, so we're, we're trying to try to educate. Education is key to us, and we we have a lot of educational materials in the store. And if you come in, we'll educate you as much as you want. You just got to ask. I'd love for you all to come back and talk about the health benefits. I know that there are specific olive oils that are made for healthy heart support, cardiovascular, things like that, skin. I'm sure that all of them probably are, are very good for you, but there's some specific things that are unique about that. But if people come in and they want to know, you can lead them. You've got several Absolutely. different ones. Absolutely. We can educate to your heart's content. All right. Thank you so much. Happy Saturday yeah, to you, you folks. Thanks Happy for coming Saturday. in. We had a great thank time, you. spills and all. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back in just a minute. This is your host, Christy Slaughter, on Super Talk Saturday mornings, WFHG 92.9.